Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft how-to video. It's been a while, I know, uh, but life keeps you busy, especially when you're in college. Um, anyways, enough of that for now. Big news. Okay, just a few days ago, Minecraft released what is now their most recent snapshot, okay, as of mm, February 28th, 2020, okay, uh, so, in this snapshot, right, we got two new blocks, and one of them was this beauty right here, this is the new target block, guys, and this is very special indeed. It's very easy to make, okay? All you gotta do in a crafting table is one hay bale, which is just nine wheat, so it's really not that hard to make, plus four redstone dust. So it requires a little bit of mining and a little bit of farming, but other than that, it's not too hard, right? So if you're wondering what that redstone in the crafting recipe is for, it's not just for these beautiful red stripes. No, no, it's for much more than that. When you hit the target block with a projectile, that being an arrow, okay, an egg, a snowball, all right, whenever you're practicing your aim, whenever you hit the target block, okay, bop, it sends out a redstone signal, and the strength of the signal corresponds to how close you hit to the bullseye in the block. So that's pretty neat, I would say. Uh, so, you could set up all sorts of redstone contraptions based off of uh, archery or egg throwing or snowballs, if you're into that uh, kind of thing. And so, I have set up my very own little archery range. I was feeling a little inspired, so I'm going to show you guys how to make an archery range of your own. Okay, so I will take you through mine. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you how it's laid out. So it's pretty simple. Over here in this section, don't know if you guys saw this little sign. Probably didn't. But over here it says practice. Over here it says challenge range. I'll get to that in a minute. Right here we have a uh, couple stands, okay, a couple little stations. Right here we have a target that's 15 meters away. That means there is a, and it says right there, there's 15 blocks between right here, this slab, and the target. So one, two, three, four, and so on blocks. And then this is 10 meters away, so one, two, three, four, and so on blocks between this slab and that target, okay? Now, onto the third uh, stand over here, we have the challenge range, which is 25 meters. And basically I've set up a little little mini game, okay? It's, uh, it's five shots per try, okay? Five shots per challenge, uh, which means you can get a maximum of 35 points if seven points is the most per shot, okay? And your score will show up in this chest to the left, right? Now, it seems complicated, but I promise you it's not, all right? And I will show you how I did it, okay? I did it using redstone. Obviously, this is uh, redstone activated when you hit it. So I use some redstone, and it's very simple, okay, very simple redstone. I am no genius when it comes to redstone, so trust me, this is very easy for you guys to do. Uh, I have a chain of a redstone dust, okay, that is 14 blocks in total, all right, so one, two, three, four, and so on, all the way down the line. And basically, the closer you hit to the, the center of the target, the longer the chain, the stronger the signal it activates, and the longer down the chain, the redstone signal flows. Now, uh, whenever the redstone signal passes one of these blocks, this is a terracotta block with a sticky piston underneath, okay? And whenever it passes the sticky piston, it raises up the block and it shows you how many points you have. So if you hit right on the outside edge, it's just this piston is going to get raised, okay? So you'll have one point for that shot. Then if you hit a little closer in, you might get two points, or three points, and three, three pistons will get raised. You hit the bullseye, you get all the way down here, that's all seven points. Now, the way the point system works, okay, down here, I have, covered up by these stone slabs, very sneaky, I have a system of hoppers and dispensers, okay, and the dispensers have sticks in them, all right? They're just filled with sticks. And basically, uh, 
there's this hopper chain that goes all the way down underneath this uh, this stone slab border. So this isn't just here for decoration. And it goes all the way down and it empties into this chest. Now, there is a much faster way to do this, I am sure. But I have no idea what that is. Because, like I said, I'm not very proficient in redstone. It's something I hope to get done someday. But considering I've been playing Minecraft for I don't know how many years now, and I still don't know how to do redstone, uh, I can say with confidence that it is pretty complicated stuff. Uh, at least from, from my perspective. So, anyways, building the range is actually pretty simple, okay? Like I said, it's 25 blocks between this target and where you shoot from okay so based off of that you can probably estimate mm, how big this range is it's about about 30 blocks or so all right 30 let's say 32 by 32 okay so it's it's mm, a couple chunks uh not too big if you're going to build this archer range for yourself you're probably going to want to start with this uh this little covered section over here because this is where you're shooting from this is where all your main building is so uh you could probably estimate out to about uh, how far your target's going to need to go. So basically, this is just made up of a bunch of 7x7 seven seven blocks, okay? So starting at this post, you've got 7 blocks until you get this post. So this post to this post is 7 blocks, so you got 5 blocks in between, okay? So you've got this 7x7 seven seven square of posts, and I made 4 squares, okay? So that's simple enough, right? It's four blocks of seven or four squares of seven uh the squares overlap so it's four posts mm, plus five or five posts plus five sections of five in between so it's 25 blocks wide okay for the roof itself it's also quite simple it might look a little complicated but it's not too bad uh here on the front side our posts are just one oak log and then two fences and on the back side it's two oak logs and two fences so right here the roof is three tall right here and four tall over here and the shape is actually pretty simple so as you can see uh, it extends outwards by one block on the front side and then it's uh, completely uh, in line with the edge of the building uh, on both the sides and this back side right here so the shape of the roof is fairly simple it's a slab and we got a stair a slab, slab diagonal to that slab, another stair, and then another slab. And now we go downwards, this stair, and then this slab. Okay, so yeah, I'm sure you guys can copy that shape. Pretty simple. It's a pre it's a pretty simple roof. Then for this uh, front entrance right here, okay, this entrance is five wide because that's how far in between the posts we're going. So the entrance is slab, block, and then two slabs on top of each other. A slab in the middle, then two slabs, block, another slab going back down. Okay? And so, basically what you want to do is just build this roof into this uh, this roof section that you have going along here. So basically, build this roof section first, and then build the entrance coming off. And then you just kind of want to uh, kind of merge them into one another, okay? You know, just make it, make it nice and pretty, neaten it up a little bit, so can't exactly describe how how you're supposed to build it but I'm sure you guys can get sort of an idea so we've got uh, here on this lowest level two slabs and then a stair and that continues up like the rest of the uh, the regular roof over here we've got blocks stair uh, and then or no three slabs block block and then blocks all the way back uh, and then here it's just you know, you can you can see how it is for your own eyes. It's hard to describe for me, but uh, you guys can see how it's going. So, anyways, that's the roof of the place. And then for the uh, the floor, it's all made up of light gray concrete powder and gravel, and it's pretty simple. You just kind of throw it in intermittently. Uh, I used probably 65, 35 gravel to. Uh, gravel to light gray concrete powder so that's just a rough estimate i really have no idea but um yeah and you want to leave maybe a few few grass patches uh, here in between if you want to build it like i did we have fences in between 
just to make sure uh, everyone stays nice and safe and inside. And you can't even get out through here just by jumping on the chest. You have to actually walk out the entrance, unless, of course, you jump out into the range, but that's probably not the safest thing to do. Or you can jump out the sides, like right here. Uh, so anyways, just to sh show you guys this game working, we're going to end off by actually uh, trying this challenge course that I have set up, show you the redstone working. I've got bows and crossbows in this chest because I'd like to try my hand at both. And then we've got arrows over here in this chest. Uh, so yeah, make sure you have plenty of supplies if you're trying to build this in survival. Uh, this probably would be a fun thing to build on a multiplayer server. You could keep a high score table right here with like a little sign to show who has the best score, who's done what with uh, which weapon. So yeah, we're going to start off with the bow. The bow is uh, a bit more inconsistent than the crossbow, it seems. Uh, they have changed the consistency of how these fire. So I got three points the first time, five points the second time. At one point that time, and I barely moved the crosshair, so they're not very consistent. Five points that time, and then another five points that time. So that was a fairly good little run. We can get our arrows back. Uh, but yeah, even without moving the crosshair, it fires a bit inconsistently. So practically, uh, this isn't going to maybe help you improve your aim, but it's still going to be fun and a little bit of luck. Maybe you want to move it beyond 25 meters. I didn't. I didn't really know. Uh, what would be a good distance. So maybe you wanted even 30 meters or 35 meters. Maybe you wanted even longer than that. Who knows? There is an achievement for shooting a skeleton from like 50 meters away. So anyways, we're going to try three, uh, going to go for three attempts with each weapon. So just see what our best score was. That didn't even register. That's how bad that was. Three, zero, five, and last shot, two. So that was pretty bad. That one actually hit on top of the uh, the target block, and our third shot, I believe it was, hit the cobblestone, the top of the cobblestone. So by barely moving our crosshair, we have several inconsistent shots. So our points uh, was nine. So we had nine the second time. It's not great. That's a little glitch in the bow, as you can see right there. So like I said, this is a snapshot. So this isn't official Minecraft yet. Uh, and so there's going to be some glitches, as you can see the bow is doing right now. That's three shots. And that was six points, I believe. Five shot or five points. And that was our fifth shot. That was pretty good. With the exception of the one arrow that went way wide, we did fairly well there. Uh, so I think I got six points that one shot. It might have been a bullseye, but I really have no idea. So 16, is that all we're going to get? Okay, 16 points for four shots is pretty good, I feel like. Uh, so now moving on to the crossbow. I have very little experience with the crossbow because I haven't played too much Minecraft since the new updates came out, but we're going to try it. Anyways, that was six points. That was really good. Four points. Six points. Seven points. There we go. That was a bullseye. And I think this is the last one. Four points. Yeah. All right. We'll go take our arrows. Uh, the loading. The loading for the crossbow is significantly slower. But um, 20, 21, 22. 22 points for the crossbow. All right. That wasn't too bad. Um, that might have been just four shots. I really have no idea. Four. It's hard to count and talk at the same time. Another four. We're on track for 20. Five. All right. Not bad. Three. And another five. So I think that was 21. That was definitely five shots that time. I was counting. Um, and so I think that'll show up here. As you can see, like I said, it's very slow. A very slow system. And I have... I have no redstone genius, so like I said, I'm sure there is a better or faster way to do this. Okay, so that was 20 on the dot. Uh, but if there is a better way to do it, I don't know it. So hopefully there are some redstone geniuses among you who do know how this stuff works. That was a bad shot. Three. Four. And three. That was five shots. Uh, I'm fairly certain. So, yep, five arrows in the block. And so, our last attempt gave us 
No, nah, yep, they're coming in now. 11 points? Okay. So we got 11 points on that last shot, uh, last little trial. Uh, so my record so far is 22. All right. So pretty fun little mini game. Hopefully you guys can beat it. Good luck with that. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I should have something coming out uh, maybe sometime soon. Some other uh, how-to video. Uh, hopefully you guys will be looking forward to that. But in the meantime, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you all sometime soon. Peace out.